New tonight at 8. East Oakland has been plagued with illegal dumping, and we have shown you just how bad it is over the years. Well, residents have been looking for solutions, and now the city of Oakland is responding. The question is, is the response working? Stanley Roberts takes a look in this edition of People Behaving Badly. You're looking at a dump site in Oakland, but before you get upset, this is actually a good thing. How could that be, you ask? Well, listen closely. The Oakland Beautification Council, which included Desley Brooks and Ken Houston, have come up with what some people are calling a brilliant idea. In an attempt to stop scenes like this, where people were dumping trash and garbage on residential streets, free dumping sites were set up all around East Oakland. So instead of a people behaving badly segment, I'm going to call this people behaving nicely by putting up the dumpsters all around East Oakland. These dumpsters like this one at 56th International Boulevard while overflowing with trash and bulk items like mattresses, it is preventing them from trashing their own neighborhood. And even though the site is closed, people are still dropping off items, which in a way is still a good thing. You guys stop taking a picture of me. Over on 66 and Foothill, yet another dumpster that was overflowing which demonstrates the need for all of this around Oakland. The event was set to last for four days, but people came from all different parts of town, and in some cases, different cities like Hayward and San Leandro. So in some areas, it was cut short. Here at 106 in San Leandro, where you saw piles of trash that I shot with my cell phone, all that's left now are these containers of paint and solvents. Over at Collins, yet another dumpster filled with legally Yes, you heard me, legally dumped items. That will make its way to the recycling plant or the landfill after it's been sorted. Personally, I'm glad to see something finally being done in Oakland to combat the problem. But it's only a temporary solution. There needs to be a permanent way to stop the illegal dumping that gives Oakland a bad name. This has given some residents a sense of hope and civic pride that something has finally been done. In fact, people have shown up to help clean up some of the stuff left over. And the city workers will be back to pick up anything waste management could not fit in the dumpsters. Finally, some results. In fact, look at Paramain, which used to be ground zero for illegal dumpers. I don't think I can ever say I've actually seen the sidewalk. I'm impressed. In Oakland, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.